Good morning and welcome to prayer and devotion on Monday, March 30th. Uh, it is good to see you here this morning. Uh, I welcome Peggy and Kemi and Michelle and Gide and Myrna and Marilyn and Tony. It is good to have all of you with us here today holding you in prayer. Uh, and, and Karen, it's good to see you too. Um, holding you in prayer this morning. This morning, um, Oh, if you are joining us for the first time, my name is Cindy Stauffer, and I am the pastor at the United Methodist Church in New Brunswick, and uh, it is good to be able to share with you. Each morning we gather um, to focus on a word that puts uh, the scripture in our minds and in our hearts during the day and uh, makes it a part of our living. Um, so today, our word is serve and uh, which kind of goes along with yesterday's devotion as well. Um, today's uh, scripture comes from, uh, I think yesterday we were in the Gospel of Mark, but today we are, we are looking at a very similar passage from the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, prior to what I, I'm reading to you, uh, the, the two brothers um, had asked the same question. Uh, and the disciples are angry that they're asking to to be uh, to sitting at the uh, to sit at the right hand and the left hand of Jesus in the kingdom in His power in His glory, and uh, this is Jesus' response. Good morning, uh, Les and Andrea and Renetta and Siege. Uh, it is and Betty. It is good to have you all here this morning. So this morning's word is serve. Uh, the today's word is serve. And I'm going to be reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 25 through 28. Here now, uh, God's word. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you. But whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Good morning, Esther. It's good to have you here today holding you in prayer. So our word today is serve, and the scripture that we're focusing on is actually verse 28 of Matthew 20. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. So what does serve mean in our lives? Well, in the book that we've been using, Pauses for Lent, 40 words, we're actually on day 29, I can't believe it, 40 words for 40 days. Uh, this is what uh, Trevor Hudson, the author of the book, writes. He says, Jesus calls his followers to be servants. When we open our lives to him, his spirit will always lead us into the position and posture of service. Serving others is the badge of genuine discipleship. Jesus himself models service when he washes the dirty feet of his disciples. Through this act, Jesus gives the disciples a pattern to follow. He says to them, I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. We find nothing optional about Jesus's words. They are clear, direct, and invite our response. Serving others the way Jesus would have us do can take many differing forms. Offering a ride, taking time to listen to a friend or co co-worker, babysitting for a single parent, taking out the trash, washing the dishes, and so on. These acts may seem small, but believe me, they can make a big impression on the people that we serve. 
So I've been thinking about what it means to serve in uh, this place that we are right now, uh, where we're many of us are at home. Uh, we are blessed to have uh, healthcare workers that are that are serving continually on be on our behalf. Um, I can't say enough of the gratitude I feel for all the men and women that are working in the hospitals, that are working in the the homes uh, of. Uh, the assisted care and, and long-term care facilities, the, the, the health care workers that are going into the homes to care for people. Um, we are, I am so grateful for what they do. But for those of us that are homebound, that, that are um, maybe even on our own, what does it mean? How do we serve in this time? Uh, I love the idea of uh, washing the dishes. That always, uh, my love language, if we talk about love language, that's, that's when somebody does something for me, I feel so loved. That is it. If you, if somebody came and cleaned my house, that, not that I'm asking anyone to come and clean my house, but that is the ultimate to, to have somebody do something for me. That is uh, an amazing act of love. And so we love other people, um, by serving them, and we see that model in Jesus, uh, loving his disciples by washing their feet, taking the lowest place to care for them. Um, and so there are things that we can do in our lives here. I know it's it's harder that we, we can't get to the places that we would usually want to. I, I, the Friday dinner has been a real challenge for us, seeking how <clears throat> to serve the people that are in most need, um, but there are ways. And so in this time, I encourage all of you to find creative ways to be safe, but also to serve. Um, and a lot of it can be by making phone calls or picking up groceries for someone. There is so much need um, today. As disciples of Christ to serve one another. Good morning, Chensi and Augusta. Good morning, Genevieve. It is good to have all, all of you with us holding you in prayer. So I was thinking about um, models of, of Christian service, uh, people who uh, exemplify what Jesus calls his disciples to. And uh, the person that came up for me was St. Francis of Assisi. Uh, if you know anything about St. Francis, he um, was a very wealthy young man. He grew up in a, in a rich household. He had everything he needed. Uh, he was probably waited on uh, hand and foot by many servants. He was given the best of the best of the best. And yet he saw the injustice in the world and he renounced all of... Um, his earthly trappings, he let it all go. It had no meaning to him so that he could serve, uh, that he might uh, take on a vow of poverty and live among those who were in greatest need. Um, because he, he, not only because he wanted to um, live into the kingdom of God that Jesus spoke of, but that he knew the value in serving, that for him, it was a life well lived. Um, so I, I thought it would be interesting to read um, the prayer of St. Francis. Uh, it is one of my favorite prayers. And um, if you know it, you are welcome to join in. Um, but if you would like to just listen, that's okay too. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled 
as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. St. Francis understood uh, that it was those actions that came from us. Um, you know, those very, it isn't, what, what can I get? What do I need? It is, how can I be a servant? How can I serve in the way that Jesus taught us? It is in giving that we receive. It is in offering forgiveness that we are forgiven. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And so uh, I give thanks this morning for all of those who are serving. Uh, I already lifted up our healthcare workers, but um, I give thanks for the many members of uh, the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick who give so freely of themselves, um, who, who understand the power of serving uh, and are always looking for new ways that they can, um, you know, make the lives of others easier. Uh, right now we have 20, 29 people that volunteered to be congregational care leaders and they've been calling members. Uh, we have uh, people that have stepped up and, and um, given money to, to provide meals for people on the street. Both of my foyer and my, my garage are filled with um, supplies for Elijah's Promise and for uh, Shiloh, uh, which is a homeless ministry. Uh, and those are going out, they're not gonna stay here. <laughs> but um, how, how blessed um, is our church with people that have a heart to serve? And so I wanna encourage you today to, I, I know that many of you are already in service, but uh, our, our devotion today, our prayer practice today, is to um, experiment throughout the day with this prayer. And the prayer says, Lord, please bring someone across my path today whom I can serve. Please bring someone across my path today whom I can serve. So as you go through your day, um, pray that prayer and be aware of the opportunities that God gives each one of us to serve, uh, to follow in the path that Jesus has called us to. Let us enter now into a time of prayer. Lord, you gave us the example of service when you wash the feet of the disciples and you call us to the same kind of service. It is easy um, to lament. Yesterday we lamented. It is easy to be concerned and anxious and worry about our own needs and worry about what's next and worry about what's happening in the world around us. But you call us to be servants. You call us to turn that inner uh, focus out into the world, to see the needs the way that you see the world. So guide us today, Lord. Help us to find opportunities that we might serve. Lord, we lift up all of those in our midst who are serving continually. Uh, we ask that your peace dwell in them, that they have the strength, that they have um, the peace that allows them to continue on, even in the midst of hardship, even in the midst of the unknown. Lord, we are so thankful for all that they are doing in and through your power and your spirit. But guide us today that we might truly be a, a representation 
of, of you, your service, that our world might become the kingdom that you call it to be. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for each new morning. We thank you for um, the strength and the grace to offer your service, to offer your love to all the world. We lift all of this up as together we pray the prayer that, that Jesus taught his disciples, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. It was good being with all of you this morning. Um, oh, good morning, Susan. Glad you joined us as well. Holding each one of you in prayer as you move through this day, uh, I encourage you to pray the prayer. Lord, bring someone across my path today that I might serve. Tomorrow when we gather, uh, we will gather and focus on the word money. Ooh, that's a shift. <laughs> uh, praying that your day is filled with the peace and the joy and the great love of our Savior. Bye, friends.